Hello, so in this video, we'll see the relationship between different transform, Laplace transform, Z transform, Fourier transform, DFT, uh, etc. So let's first understand what is a system. System is the uh, combination of different resistors, capacitors, and inductors in case of analog domain. And if it is considered a digital domain, then it is simply the delay elements, adders, and subtractors, etc. So Laplace and Z transform, these can be used for system analysis as well as for signal analysis. And these are defined for stable as well as unstable signals and systems both. The next is a Fourier transform of series or DFT anything that is mainly used for signal analysis and it becomes really complicated for the system analysis. Therefore, it is rarely used for uh, system analysis. Uh, the next is the uh, stability related part. The Fourier is defined only for the stable signals uh, is not like Laplace or Z which are defined for stable as well as unstable signals. So Fourier is defined only for the stable signals. Next, we'll see the relationship between the Laplace, Fourier, Z, DFT, DTFT, etc. Uh, how these are related with each other. So Laplace is calculated in the S-plane. Is Igma is a real part. Z omega is an imaginary axis. This is the S-plane. So Laplace transform uh, is, uh, I mean, uh, when we are calculating on the Z omega axis, that becomes a Fourier transform. The one more thing is, uh, as we already discussed, Laplace is defined for stable as well as unstable signals or systems. Uh, one more thing is the uh, region of convergence, if it includes the z-omega axis, the stability is guaranteed. Thus, uh, because the Fourier is defined only on the z-omega axis, uh, it is defined only for the stable signals. Or I would say the Fourier is defined for the stable signals only. Uh, this is the proof. Uh, why is, uh, I mean, uh, the Laplace is defined for unstable as well as stable and is for stable only. The next is Z transform. The discrete version of Laplace transform is Z transform. Again, the Z plane is a complex plane. We'll see uh, the relationship between the Z transform and DTFT. DTFT is a discrete time Fourier transform used for the discrete time domain signal. Uh, the Z transform, uh, in, in Fourier transform, we are using the Z omega axis. Uh, if this z omega axis is bent, we form a unit circle, and this is the unit circle. I would say uh, the z transform calculated on the unit circle becomes a DTFT. So again, uh, as I told, the stability is guaranteed in z domain when the ROC includes the unit circle. So because we are calculating the DTFT on the unit circle or z transform on the unit circle, the stability is guaranteed. The DTFT is defined only for the stable signals. The next is a DFT, discrete Fourier transform. The spectrum is a discrete in this case. The time domain is as well a discrete signal, which we widely use for any signal processing applications. So in this case, uh, the, the Z transform calculated on the unit circle at equidist equidistant points is called DFT. Again, because it is calculated on the unit circle and uh, the stability is guaranteed if your ROC includes the unit circle, therefore your DFT is only defined for the stable signals. Thank you.